Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. I am really glad you're here today. So I'm going to be speaking about white marble discoloration on shower pans. The reason this why this came up, this just came up this morning and I feel it is such important information. I just need to get it out there as soon as possible. It's something I've talked about in other live streams and discussions, but I haven't done an actual video topic on it. So I need to get this information out on the internet so that this doesn't happen to you. So this morning, I'm going to share my screen here with you this morning. This is what what I saw. So this is my website here. If you're not familiar with uh, my tilecoach.com website, but I got a bunch of stuff on here. I got a shop where you can, uh, you know, buy flow effects stuff. You can buy uh, merchandise that supports our channel. I appreciate that if you do that. Uh, we also have tile coaching. You can do one on one sessions with me. Uh, here 30 45 and one hour coaching sessions where you click on it then you can go to a booking calendar and we will set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation we also have this membership uh, that's just ten dollars a month and if you get this this will allow you access to this team forum here and this team forum is where this topic came up this morning so we have all these different topics this is a really cool forum there's no ego on it there's no uh, drama or anything like that. It's just mostly do-it-yourselfers. And we do have some pros on here to also help out. But I'm on here usually like once a day and uh, helping out everybody who's doing their projects. You can share your project. It's really neat. But we have this uh, topic called Tile fa Failures and Problems. And on this, uh, this morning, uh, I've been helping Kevin here with this project. He's, he's been doing a great job. You'll see... Um, I'll go through some of his other stuff, but here's um, one of the questions he had. You can see he did a flow effects drain, uh, some Mape aqua defense waterproofing. Did a great job. One of his questions was is if he could fill in a low area with thin set before he set tile. I said, sure, that's not going to hurt anything. Um, let's see here, but this is what came up this morning. And I have seen this before. I've talked about it before. Uh, white marble can have these issues and it's not just white marble it can also be uh, any moisture sensitive stones some limestones I've seen this happen to but most often it is a um, a white marble issue so let me see here um, what we got let me let me show you here see if you can see my cursor here I'm pretty sure you can see my cursor uh, these patches of dark stained marble and what this is is this is moisture that is trapped underneath the tile and it is more often a problem in bonded type waterproofing systems whether that's Schluter Curdy, uh, Red Guard, Hydroban uh, basically the newer style of waterproofing this happens but it, I, I also have seen it happen on traditional shower systems tr traditional pans like vinyl pan liners uh, hot mop stuff like that so i want to get to the the root cause of this get the information out there so that we can prevent this because basically after you know his question was you know isaac we're a month in and this this is what happened seems like water trapped is under yes and he says do we have to tear it up and really there's no way to fix this no amount of sealer no amount of letting it dry out um, I mean unless maybe you let it dry out for like a long time like months I'm talking um, and even if you put a sealer on there that could actually make this problem worse so I'm gonna get to the solutions here in a minute of how to uh, avoid this because once it's done unfortunately and I hate to break the bad news to you right now um, it is uh, it's a done deal so uh, and so his his other question he also asked hold on one second for me here I'm going to switch back over I'm gonna switch my camera because this is on my um, let's see this is let's see can I switch my camera I want this to be on my not on my well it doesn't matter it, it's it's on my FaceTime camera which isn't as good as as uh, this one here obviously this one looks a lot better but I'm still getting used to this Ecamm live so I'll figure out how to do that. But um, so here's here's what we have um, again. Well, let me go back here. And 
So, yeah, so my my answer to him, unfortunately, there's no way to fix it. Uh, that is why you see our company not do much white marble. Um, there are porcelain tiles that emulate the white marble that don't have this issue because they're not porous. They're porcelain tiles. Uh, and there's other methods you can use to help prevent it when installing it. So if you're going to replace it with the same. And then I said, so if you're going to replace it with the same material, read this article. And I'm going to go to that article here in a second to get into the solution. So this is the Tile Letter magazine. This is the, the NTCA puts this out. And uh, someone shared, shared this with me. Pavlo uh, shared this with me. Pavlo, here is his, this is his blog. This is Pavlo. Um, I know him as Pasha. Most people know, know him as Pasha. But he, he's done a lot of research on this marble discoloration. He's got a YouTube video on how to prevent it. Uh, so, yeah, go to his website, his blog, and you'll find out this information that I have up here. But I'm going to go over this tile letter one because this is the one that he uh, – this is the one that, that's kind of a quick rundown. Uh, but basically what Pasha did – is he made, um, I believe he made like 10 or 12 mock-ups, similar to what I do in my testing stuff. I like to make these mock-ups to do testing. Looks like here he has a Schluter Curdy uh, over here. Uh, I don't know if that's Weedy, uh, a couple different types. This looks like a regular maybe RDX 8 plus 9, different waterproofing methods. And um, basically what he did is found out which ones perform best with this white marble. And so um, the method one that he uses is, is using a traditional dry pack mortar bed pan because the difference between a sealed system and a traditional dry pack, right, is the ability for the, the waterproofing layer is underneath the thick bed mortar layer. So that water is able to be pulled away from the surface of the underneath the tile down to the waterproofing and then drains into the weep holes. So if you're going to use a traditional dry pack uh, pan, that's going to help uh, avoid this problem. And also, the key to this also is to not use modified thin set. And you've seen in most of my videos, I'm always using modified thin set. There's rarely a case where I will use unmodified uh, because the properties of modified thin set are just better. They're stronger. They're more uh, flexible, if that's the correct term. They are have longer open times. Uh, just all in all, better thin sets to use, higher performance. But they can work against you in one of these white mar marble shower pans. Basically, because of the modification, the polymers in the modified thin set basically makes them more waterproof water isn't allowed to flow through them as freely and this kind of gets back to my testing that i've done with schluter curdy and the different thin sets when i would use an unmodified thin set like schluter used to recommend uh, the thin set was very porous and it would wick under the bands and the moisture if it was left in a curdy pan plugged up you know underwater it would wick all the way through the bands to the substrate and get everything wet and eventually leak out. Um, my testing kind of proved that and it's pretty accepted now that that was what was happening. Uh, but I found when I use Schluter All Set or Latacrete Multimax Light, you know, a couple of very highly modified thin sets, that wicking didn't happen at all. And as a matter of fact, well, it did happen, but very, very slowly. Over 14 day tests, I was just getting like a quarter to a half inch of moisture migration under the bands using these highly modified thin sets. So these highly modified thin sets are almost waterproof. They are not fully waterproof, but they are much more waterproof than an unmodified thin set. And so when you use an unmodified thin set with this traditional dry pack mortar pan, it's going to allow that moisture to pull away from the surface down to the pan liner or hot mop, and if there's a pre-slope on it and the weep holes are unclogged, that moisture can find its way out the bottom of the drain. So it's basically a mechanism that's pulling the water down away from the surface of that marble. 
so that is one way. That's one way to help avoid this white marble discoloration. The second method that Pasha found through all of his testing, again, here's all of his mock-ups that he made, was using a bonded type system like schluter curdy along with um, using epoxy setting adhesive and epoxy grout. So this is and in, in conjunction with two coats of bulletproof sealer. Um, Give me one second here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so, uh, and again, I don't wanna go over all of the installation methods here, but it's basically using a 100% 100% solids epoxy setting mortar. Customs has a good one. Uh, I think CEG Light is what they call it. Um, Ladacrete has their Spectralock uh, I, I believe they also have a thin set that's 100% epoxy, but basically you want to use epoxy thin set because, right, that's not going to allow any water to sit in it. It's, it's epoxy is doesn't hold water. You set the marble tile on it, and then before you grout it, you do um, two coats of Stone Tech Bulletproof Sealer or any other, you know, that's stone tech bulletproof is just a really good penetrating sealer um, get that sealed up so that when you do grout it doesn't the the epoxy doesn't uh, fill into the pores of the mar marble on the top because if epoxy were to kind of impregnate into the marble tiles it's basically again putting like a cap on it and any moisture on it wouldn't be able to escape so uh, it, there's, there's a little bit of misinformation about what sealers do. Sealers uh, do not keep out all of the water and they do allow vapor to some extent escape through the tile. So anyways, that these articles go over it in, in a lot of detail. So you do the two coats of sealer, then you do the epoxy grout, and then you're going to have a shower that never gets that discoloration. So uh, this is, again, this is the tile letter. Uh, you, can, you can probably look this up, um, but better yet, go to uh, Pasha's blog and his company is Star Tile, not the Star Tile, but <laughs> Star Tile. And he's in South Carolina now. He was in the Pacific Northwest and he did this uh, nice tutorial on that epoxy method that I had just talked about. So there's basically two methods you can do to prevent this. And um, again, here's some, some examples. And again, unfortunately, if you're watching this channel, there's a good chance that it's already too late, that this has already happened. And again, I just have to say that once this has happened, once you get this discoloration shown in these photos, there's nothing you can do. It's it's a done deal. A lot of people think, oh, I can let it dry out and put a sealer on it. That's not going to keep it from happening. And and uh, what Pasha said, I believe um, the sealer actually makes it worse. So I think I think, and again, I could be wrong. I want you guys to read this all for yourself. But I believe if you're doing this traditional dry pack mortar pan, I don't think he wants you to use a sealer at all. Because again, um, we want we want this this system breathable so that everybody everything can drain away and breathe. I'm pretty sure that let me see. Now that's the epoxy. Yes, and it is not treated with an impregnating penetrating sealer. Yeah, so no sealer. So if you're going to use the traditional dry pack method no sealer again that totally goes against conventional thinking where you think oh i gotta put a sealer on it but the sealer will actually make it worse so don't put a sealer on it if you're doing a traditional dry pack mortar pan and uh yeah that's that's about it yeah again unfortunately if if it's already happened it's happened and and there's not a whole lot you can do about it so 
anyways I wanted to make this quick little live stream for you uh, I just kind of blew it out there I don't think I'm gonna have any questions from you guys at this point uh, Vito Lucci thanks for for tuning in and uh, I hope I hope and and again what I had said to uh, my viewer over on the forum as I said this is really unfortunate and it sucks and I've been in that position before where you do something and and the the only way to fix it is to tear it out and that sucks but what I've found is that at least if I can use that information to help other people avoid the same problems uh, to me that is worth something it, it it makes me feel better it makes me feel a sense of purpose uh, boost my self-esteem a little bit so for whatever it's worth and I, I can't speak for the gentleman on my forum who has that problem he's probably not feeling real good about it but I told him I will use this information so that hopefully it will help you who's watching this video prevent this from happening and yeah that that's about it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here we got about 16 minutes in and uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in if you do need help on your project uh, go to tilecoach.com I have all the links down in the description and I love your support uh, if you go to tile coach and buy any items uh, any of the consultations any you know the team membership all of that helps fund this channel so that I can bring you uh, not only informative information but also try to do it in an entertaining way that's pleasant to watch so uh, happy new year you guys i love you i love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video